On day one, I swung in as Spider-Man. I heard a loud noise coming from the sky. What is that? I looked up and saw a meteor. It crashed, causing a large explosion and covering everything in gold goo? Spider-Man, you like what you've done to the city? Wait, Venom? Is that you? How are you here and why are you golden? Before he could say anything, a bunch of gold symbio monsters started to attack me. One of them hit me and a piece of the gold goo stuck onto me. What is happening? I fully transformed into golden Spider-Man. I shot a web at a monster and it was golden. Oh no, not a symbiote suit again. Soon the world will fall and you, Spider-Man, will never stop us. All of the monsters fled. The world shall fall? I need to figure out what's going on. And fast. I kept swinging until my spider senses went off. Help! Oh no. Someone's in trouble. I landed at a large looking warehouse. Only to see a villager there. How did he get himself into this? Venom can wait. I swooped in between them. Man, you guys really just don't learn to mind your own business, do you? They charged at me. One punch sent a guy flying. Man, talk about strength. The other criminal left, and I noticed that he dropped something. Thank you so much for saving me. Love the new golden look too, by the way. He went on his way. First Venom, now this? Why is there so much crime going on? I went over and picked up the device. It looked like it was some kind of tracker. Where was it pointing to though? I guess there was only one way to find out. On day three, the tracking device led me to a science facility. I went inside and saw MJ. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, Tiger. Nice new suit. I was looking for some symbiote activity, and guess what I found? We looked over and saw that the Green Goblin was here, too. MJ, you need to leave right now, okay? It's too dangerous. I'll take it from here. Oh, all right. Just be careful. Well, well, well. If it isn't the jolly old Green Leprechaun, what are you doing here? Spider-Man, you already have one of the symbiotes. I must have the other. Must have the other? Wait, there's more? I shot Gotham with a web blast. I totally had the upper hand. Now, Gobby, when will you ever learn? Man, what's going on? Why am I in so much pain? Goblin got up and fought back, throwing bombs at me. Ah, I was losing hearts and fast. Now I can rid myself of you. Uh, one thing's for certain, I needed to get out of here now. In due time, Spider-Man. In due time. On day four, I made my way back to New York and started to struggle to get this golden goo off my body. All right, that's enough. Get off of me. Ah, I tried everything I could, but the more I tried, the more it seemed to hurt me. Why won't you get off? What is this stuff? <laughs> oh, you're stuck with me, buddy. What? Who said that? All of a sudden, my spidey sense started to go off. Oh no, someone's coming. I quickly switched out of my suit. Peter, what are you doing here? It was Norman Osborn. He asked who I was talking to, and I told him that I was just uh, thinking about myself. Norman invited me back to his building to talk. He said I looked like I needed some help. We traveled to his corporate building and began discussing the news of the symbiotes. Apparently, news spread around the entire city. Fascinating creatures, really. And I think their arrival is a good thing. I was confused by that. How can he see that as a good thing? It sure wasn't a good thing for Eddie. Norman had been like a father to me since the passing of... Well, I don't want to get into that. But I knew he had my best interests in mind. Speaking of best interests... Oh, no. I need to get back to my apartment. Thanks for all the help, Osborne. But I gotta get out of here. I rushed out. And when I arrived, my landlord was waiting. He was throwing all my tools on the ground. Hey, uh, stop. What are you doing to my stuff? You haven't paid your rent, Peter. You're out of here. Ah, uh, come on. Can you just give me another week or something? I've given you enough chances, kid. I'm sorry, but you're on the streets now. Oh, man. I headed off. It looks like I'm gonna need a new place to live. On day five, I went to the outside of New York and headed to a nearby area to start gathering material for a new place to stay. Once I collected enough, I started to work on a base for me to stay in. Thankfully, I found a nice spot right in the city. Suddenly, I felt my spider sense start to tingle again. I knew that Venom had to be up to something. I just hoped my suit wouldn't fail me again. I swung off and eventually came across a large village, except most of it was already turned to gold. And there he was. Venom, stop! What are you doing to these people? Always one step ahead of you, Spidey. How dare you talk to us after what you 
did to us in the first place. What I did to him? I shot a web at him, but he was able to jump out of the way and avoid it. Have fun with our army. He started to run off, and I tried to chase him, but I was intercepted by his army of golden symbiotes. The group rushed at me, and I had to fight them off. Ah, uh, thankfully, I had my super strength. They were tough, but my suit didn't seem to fail me, and I was able to defeat all of them. I felt a surge of power, and my web shooter upgraded. Whoa, check it out. This thing does even more damage now. I headed back toward my base. Oh, man, I need to relax. I made it back home and thought about what Venom said. Man... I can't believe it's been 10 years since we've been friends. Yeah, you were a lot nerdier back then. Hey, calm down. You were a nerd too. <laughs> I remember the day like it was yesterday. Me and Eddie were hanging out and suddenly there was a rustle in the bushes nearby. A black symbiote came out and rushed towards Eddie. Eddie, watch out! Peter! Ah! I quickly snapped out of it. Man, I miss Eddie. Still thinking about that, huh? Yeah, if only I had done something more. Something to save him. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I know, but I still need to find a way to make things right. Venom is my responsibility. I need to find a way to stop him. MJ told me that she knows where the goblin is headed. Well, the sooner I take care of him, the sooner I can turn my full attention back to Eddie. Let's do this. On day seven, as I made my way back towards the science facility, I noticed that more of the world was being covered with that golden goo. Venom is working fast. If I don't stop him soon, the entire world is doomed. I arrived at the facility, but there was no sign of the green goblin. It was swarming with henchmen, though. Maybe it's best if I took a more subtle approach. As I snuck my way inside, criminals were investigating another crashed meteor. Strangely enough, this meteor wasn't golden. It was red. I wonder why. This must be the other symbiote. As I was trying to sneak closer, my spider sense went off, and I jumped onto the wall to hide. Where is it? Where is the other symbiote? Other symbiote? Does that mean more of the symbiotes are are coming to Earth? Find it quickly! Once I have it, I will become the strongest supervillain in the world! Both Spider-Man and Venom will not stand a chance against me! Great! I have to stop him before he's able to find it! There's no way I can! Ah! I'm bored! My suit! After him! I guess that's my cue to leave! I swung out of the facility as fast as I could, with the henchmen chasing right after me. I returned to base to tell MJ about Goblin. It seems like another Another symbiote has landed on Earth, and he plans to use it. We need to find a way to save Eddie this time, and stop the goblin from killing him. MJ and I got to work building her a place to stay at my base. I knew this would keep her safe while the symbiotes were on the loose. Thanks. I'll get to work and see if I can get any information about the symbiote's whereabouts. Ah, uh, what can I do without you? That's a really good question. MJ headed into her house and got to work. I woke up and started pacing around the base, still thinking about Eddie. Just one more adjustment and we're good. There you go, your TV's fixed. Thanks, Peter. Didn't want to miss the game tonight. It's no problem. It's the least I could do after you helped me with my project, man. It's just good to know that no matter what, we'll always have each other's backs and be there when we need it. I plan on keeping that promise, Eddie. I gotta find a way to cure you from Venom. Maybe I could find some clues at his place. I headed out. Once I arrived, I headed inside Eddie's apartment, and it was completely covered in the symbiote goo. It looked like Venom had been here recently. I walked around, looking for any signs of a clue, and eventually found a journal. Eddie had written. I didn't know he kept a journal. The last entry was a writing about the old observatory. Wait a minute, we used to visit this together. Suddenly, my spider sense went off. Seems like there must be trouble outside. On days 11 to 12, I rushed outside to see that Rhino was attacking the city. Oh, Alexi, aren't you supposed to be locked up on the raft? Are you golden too? Spider-Man, I knew you'd come out eventually. Venom has made me stronger and wants me to crush you. Ah, uh, come on, at least take me to dinner first. We began a fight and Rhino started throwing rocks at me. Hey, quit it. Hold still. I continued to dodge the rocks and shot my webs at him. You really got to work on your aim. Oh, no. It looks like that only made him angrier. And he charged at me. I kept firing my web shooters, slowly weakening him. This is pointless. Why don't you just... 
kill him and get it over with. No, are you crazy? I'm not doing that. Come on, it's the only way to stop him for good. No, it's not the only way. Rhino charged at me again, but I was able to hit him with one of my last web blasts, bringing him down. See, told you. And wait a second, you talk to me. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Goldie, by the way. Well, Goldie, it's nice to finally meet you. I made my way toward the observatory, and when I arrived, to my surprise, Venom was actually here. We must destroy you, Spider-Man. It's the only way we'll find true peace. Venom started to shoot his webs at me, and I tried to dodge them. Eddie, listen, man, you gotta fight this. This isn't you, and I don't want to hurt you. Why should we listen to the man who decided to leave us to be Venom continued to overwhelm me, and I started to lose a bunch of hearts. Listen, I never left you. Please, just listen to me. Venom is altering your mind. Enough! You will destroy my new body! The suit started to take control and shot a web blast in Venom's face. You're leaving right now! We swung out of the observatory and made our way back home. I don't feel so good. Ugh. <gasps> Peter! On days 15 to 16, I woke up in my bed immediately. MJ was there. What happened, Peter? I filled MJ in on everything that happened and how Eddie and Venom are on a personal vendetta against me. Well, MJ, don't you remember the first time me and him fought? Yeah, you sent him off into space. It was the only option left, though, besides... Besides killing him. Yeah, I know. But something tells me Venom wasn't too happy about that either. Maybe I can go talk to Norman. He might have an idea on the situation. I made my way into Norman's office, and I asked him if he knew anything about the symbiotes. Not much, but I heard they're a strong and powerful species. He told me that he heard a rumor about another powerful symbiote that recently landed on Earth. It seems like you know a lot about symbiotes, Mr. Osborne. No, oh, not really. Just a little bit. Okay, well, I'll take some pictures and send them to you if you find a solution to stop them, all right? That would be most helpful, Peter. As I swung back to base, I wondered if Norman was talking about that red symbiote, but how would he know about that if I barely discovered it myself? On days 17 to 18, I was traveling back toward my base when my gold symbiote suit pal decided to talk to me again. So get this, right? Back on my planet, there were a lot of us. There was Venom and uh, another guy. He was really scary. Other guy? Was he talking about the red symbiote? Without a doubt, I'm the weakest of the bunch. I don't do so good with conflict, but I am really good at running. So you're a coward. Great. I'm no coward. I just want a safe place away from Venom. Yeah, but not every answer is just to run, okay? Sometimes we got to stick our ground and fight back. It's our responsibility to do so. Now I know that I got some kind of cowardly goose stuck to me. I can't even get it off. That's the cool part. You can't without killing us both. What? Does that mean that I can't get rid of Venom from Eddie 2 without killing him? Oh, man. There has to be an answer to this. There just has to be. On days 19 to 20, I heard a ringing. It was my cell phone. Peter, I think I found where the other symbiote is heading. That's great news. Where can I find it? A town close to your location made a report of a strange creature running around. It's leaving behind some kind of red goo. Red? Oh, great. Thanks, MJ. I'm on it. I swung off toward the town as fast as I could. When I arrived, the town was covered in a strange red material like she was saying. It looked exactly like what I saw at the crash meteor site. But what could have caused this. I called out for anyone in the town, hoping I could get some answers, but no one answered. Suddenly, my spider senses started to tingle, and I looked around, seeing a strange red creature scurry by. That's the other guy? The other guy? I swung after the creature, while Goldie screamed and begged for me not to chase it. You really don't know what you're up against? Yeah, well, what option do we have? Let's go stop him. On days 21 to 23, I was hot on the trail, chasing after that red piece of goo. What in the world is that thing? It was moving so fast and destroying everything in its path. Hey, man, you get me away from that thing. You can't be serious. We landed next to it, and I saw that it looked just like Venom, but different. That thing is carnage. He is one of the most fierce symbiotes to exist. Out of nowhere, my spidey senses went off again. <laughs> Great. The green gobby's back. He flew over our heads, and he was looking straight at the red symbiote. Oh, no, you don't. Green goblin rushed at me, and we fought. Ah! Suddenly, he then threw a goblin bomb at me. You getting tired, Spider-Man? In your dreams. In reality, I was actually getting pretty tired. But why? We gotta leave now. 
Man, he was right. I was losing hearts and in fast. I shot my web and swung out of that mess. Peter Parker? I was weak and swinging back to my base. Man, what a fight. Gobby really put some damage into me. As I shot my next web, a great surge of pain shot through my body. Ah! ah what the? Was that you? Yes, I am hungry. I must eat. You can't be serious, right? You know we're kind of running away from that fight. Shut it. I told you we shouldn't mess with that red symbiote. Now look at us. If only you weren't holding back your punches. All right, all right. That's enough. I'll find you some cows. I went off and was able to find a herd of them. We then took them down. After some time, we found a nice looking cliff and got to making some food. Thankfully, Goldie and his little attitude went away. You do know why I hold back my punches, right? Because you are a coward? No, you idiot. Just because I have these powers doesn't mean I should abuse them. A great man taught me that. Maybe you should learn a thing or two. No, never. Plus, the longer you have me attached to you, the sooner you'll start forgetting about these stupid more. What? I wonder if this is what Eddie has to go through. Suddenly, I got a text message from MJ. Man, I should really go check on her. Time to go back home. On days 27 to 29, I got back to my base. But standing there waiting for me wasn't MJ. It was my landlord? Again? What in the world are you doing here? Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I own this property now. And you owe me rent. You, you what now? You can't be serious. He said he was. And I was late on my rent. Again. If you don't give me my money within the next couple of days, consider your new home goodbye! <laughs> Mr. Jerkface walked away. Dude, how am I gonna make money? Being me sometimes sucks. I decided to go back into the city to see if I can find a job. I noticed a pizza shop on one of the corners with a sign that read, Now Hiring. Oh, perfect. As soon as I entered, the manager walked straight up towards me and said, So, you want a job or what? Yeah, a job would be great. I really want to start making money. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Here deliver these pizzas to the address and don't be late. The pizza manager told me that this place was known for their delivery speeds and if I didn't make the 20 minute timer limit, I wouldn't get paid. Okay, sounds good and seriously, thanks again for this. What are you waiting for? The clock is ticking. Go! On days 30 to 32, I was out delivering the pizzas. Man, I seriously only have 20 minutes? I have to travel like 600 blocks. How am I gonna get there? Wait a minute. I decided to finally be smart and swung away through the biomes with the pizzas. Those smell delicious. Don't even think about it. I was making great time. 20 minutes? Make it five. I was getting close to my destination when all of a sudden, I heard banging noises. What is that? Are those golden criminals? How in the world? They were trying to break in. I swung in. Hey guys, respect the new look and all, but gold is definitely not your color. We fought off. One of them punched me and sent me flying straight into a wall. Ah! These guys' punches dealt a lot of damage and kept sending me flying back. I started to think, how can I take them all down? Kill them? No! I jumped on the building and shot my web down, trapping all of them. Much better. Wait, the pizzas! I quickly got them and headed off. Ah, finally, I'm at the address. I delivered the pizzas and to my surprise it was to a chicken? Hey, you judging me or what, dude? Uh, no, not at all. The chicken said good and gave me a huge tip. Thank goodness. Now, I should be able to pay rent. My happiness was cut short though because my spider senses went off oh no what now out of nowhere there was a massive explosion and i heard screams coming from the city i quickly suited up and swung my way back to see golden symbiotes were running everywhere and changing the city to gold i saw a group of them about to attack one of the citizens i couldn't let them get to him i got you buddy don't worry i got between him and the symbiotes i shot webs at them to slow them down and then used my strength to take them down for good Thank you! You saved my life! Eat him! What? Come on, man! Let's eat him! Uh, I couldn't control myself! And I started to attack the citizens! I was out of control, but I felt like I wanted to do it! I actually wanted to eat them! Spider-Man, what are you doing? I looked, and I saw MJ, and started to think about everything that I stood for! Come on! No! We're not doing this! I was able to regain my control, but the citizens still ran off, terrified. And did you see what you did? Now they're scared of me. What has gotten into you, Peter? It's the stuff that's attached to my suit. It seems to have a mind of its own. I have a name. You should use it. Peter, you need to go and see Norman. Maybe he'll know what to do about it. Yeah, you're right. I should leave too before I do anything that Uncle Ben 
wouldn't be proud of. On days 36 to 38, I arrived at Norman's building and called out for him. Mr. Osborne, I have something serious to talk with you about. Man, where could he be? If he wasn't helping me, he was always here. Something didn't feel right. My spidey sense started to tingle. The green goblin appeared and he said, Come to end this now, Peter. Hey, wait a second. How do you know my name? And what did you do with Mr. Osborne? Don't you see? It was me all along. You really think I cared to help you with the symbiote? I don't care about you at all. But uh, Mr. Osborne, after Uncle Ben, you were like a father to me. And you're telling me that you're Green Goblin? He threw another grenade at me. And I was too stunned by my emotions to fight back. Please, stop. I know that you're better than this. Suddenly, he was hit and sent flying backwards. Iron Man, what are you doing here? I could tell you were in trouble and needed some help. This isn't over, Peter. He jumped out of the building and rushed off. Tony looked at my suit and told me that it was very odd. When you have some time, swing by my lab. I would love to analyze it. He then flew off. Can't believe this. Mr. Osborne is one of my biggest enemies. Oh no, I had to go check on MJ. I need to make sure she's okay and fast. On my way back home, I noticed a part of the city was covered in gold? Wait a second. Well, this isn't suspicious at all. I decided to investigate a little further and saw golden symbiote monsters everywhere. Where? At the center of them was Venom himself. Well, 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 Spider-Man. That's Golden Spider-Man to you. Listen, Eddie, I know you are still in there. Venom laughed at me and said Eddie is no more. All that's left now is pure rage and power. We are so glad you are here because now you die. Venom launched himself at me. He hit me once and it sent me down to the floor. Teddy, please listen to me. He went in for another attack, but this time I was able to dodge it and stun them with one of my punches. No, stop. Get back here. Venom charged at me one last time. This time, I can tell he was at a full rage. The hit was so hard, I couldn't even think about fighting back. Peter, help me. Eddie, is that you? What? And just let Venom get away again? Yep. The symbiote started to take control of the suit and ran away. Hey, stop! That's right. Run all you can. Soon enough, you will suffer. On days 42 to 44, I finally gained back control and stopped Goldie from controlling me. All right, that's enough. We stopped in an alleyway, and I started to tell him how we can't just run away from all of our problems, especially when things get tough. It's either we run or we kill, and you can't even kill Venom. Dude, that's not how life should be. I'm not killing Venom by choice. It's just not right. My best friend is in there, and I plan on saving him. You are unwise and blinded by hope. Yeah, well, I'd rather be blinded by it than not having any at all. I can tell the symbiote was frustrated because he stopped talking. Thank goodness. I think I should go check back with Tony before I go to MJ. I went off, and when I arrived, Tony was waiting for me in his sick lab. Jeez, what kind of technology do you have in here? And wait, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? It's not important. It's my style. Anyways, are you having problems with the suit? Let me see what I can do. He told us to answer a machine, and with a flash of light, our suit got upgraded. It was the golden iron spider suit. Still not as good as my old red and blue, but at least I can control the symbiote better. If you want that to happen, bring me more of these symbiotes. He continued to tell me if I brought more back to him, he can create a device that would remove both this golden symbiote and the golden venom symbiote from Eddie. Tony tossed me a special metal jar. Thanks, I think. He told me to use it to collect further symbiotes. Sounds perfect. I'm on it. On days 45 to 47, I arrived back at my base and saw my landlord was arguing with MJ. Hey, you both owe me money and though. Where's my money, huh? Eh? Hey, hey, calm down. Here it is. Should be enough to buy the land as well. Whoa, kid, why didn't you say so, huh? Land's all yours or whatever. Wow, that guy is seriously annoying. Since we now own the land we were staying on, MJ and I decided to expand our houses. We made hers bigger and then we built mine up as well. Once we were finished, we still felt like building, so we made a farm for us. Now, we shouldn't have to worry about food. I then told MJ the news that Norman had been the Green Goblin all along. She was as heartbroken to hear about it 
as I was. Why would he ever do that? That's not like him. I know. I'm not sure how it happened, but all I know is that we have to accept it. I decided to make it up to her by telling her the good news that Mr. Stark had given me. He seems to believe he can separate the symbiotes from Eddie and I without killing us. How awesome is that? That's amazing. Now you just need to capture that symbiote before the goblin gets it. Hey, uh, can I get a moment, kid? Uh, yeah, I walked off. All right, what do you want? You're not thinking about separating me, or are you? I, I know I'm a pain and all, but believe it or not, I've grown an attachment to you. Yeah, no kidding. I decided it was best to leave that unanswered for the time being. On days 48 to 50, I was woken up by transmission. Ah! Uh, what is this? What's going on? Hey, kid. I got some news you're gonna need to hear. Tony continued to tell me the red symbiote was spotted in a nearby city, causing carnage. I shot out and started to make my way over there. Once I arrived, I saw pure destruction taking place. He kept jumping on random villagers. What was he trying to do? <laughs> Get away from me, you red little devil! Every mob he touched died. I think he was trying to find a host. Carnage! I jumped down. You want a host? Well, why don't you try me for size? The symbiote didn't hesitate and charged towards me. Wait, no, I, I was kidding. I dodged his attack and we started to clash and fight. Every time he tried to attach himself, my spidey senses kicked in, making me dodge. I gave him one good punch and knocked him out. Well, I didn't know symbiotes can just pass out like that. And thank you, Tony Stark, for this suit. I went over to the symbiote and put it inside a jar. Mission success. Let's go home. On days 51 and 53, I was traveling toward Tony's base. I was it was something and fell to the ground. Ah, what was that? That belongs to me, Peter. The goblin was blocking my path. I will never let you get your hands on this, Osborne. I know what you intend to do with it. We'll see about that. He charged at me and I was able to roll out of the way. I turned and tried to web him in place, but missed. Oh, well, Norman, you don't have to do this. Goblin began to throw tons of grenades at me and it was impossible for me to dodge after all of them. One of them hit me and I dropped the jar. Oh, no, no. Please, Norman, stay away from that. You don't know what you're doing. The goblin was able to get it. Yes. Now nothing will be able to stop me. He flew off. Norman, man, he doesn't know what he just did. If that thing attaches himself to him, Norman could die. Oh no, I can't let that happen. Man, first I failed Eddie. Now the goblin acquired carnage and who knows what kind of power he'll have with it. Man, I feel so weak right now. What is wrong with me? This stupid suit is so draining too. Who are you calling draining? I'm the one that's attached to your weak body. Me? You're nothing but a coward. You have been nothing but misery ever since you attached yourself to me. What? What? What's happening? Ah, I, uh. <laughs> I feel so powerful. On days 57 and 59, I was back at my old school. Where's my suit? Why do I feel so strange? Venom came crashing down into the school and stood before me. Why are you here? What do you want with me? You are a monster. We were so innocent. And look what you did to us. Was this Venom talking? Or Eddie? Eddie, listen. You were rampaging. And there was no stopping you. I did what I thought was best. You destroyed my life, Peter. No. I did nothing wrong. I tried to save you. You led yourself into this dark path of Venom. I hit Venom as hard as I could, and he faded away, leaving Eddie standing before me. Eddie, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Peter. You did what you had to do. If it wasn't for you, I might not be alive still. Listen, I promise I'm gonna do everything I can to get you out of this nightmare. You can count on it. I'll fix what I started. I know you will, Peter. I know you will. On days 60 to 62, I woke up. Wait, where am I? I was in a warehouse that looked familiar. Peter, wake up! Help! Get off of him right now! Goblin? What happened to you? He was totally red. He was trying to get Goldie off of me too, but I was able to knock him off of me. He started to attack me up close. If I can't have that symbiote, I will destroy it with you! He started hurling grenades at me, and they were clearly hurting much more. I need to get out of here! Wait, 
you, buddy. Goldie helped me summon the last of my strength and got me to swing out of the warehouse. There's nowhere you can hide now, Peter. On days 63 to 65, I returned to my base, tired and... Ah, uh, what now? Everything was on fire and my house was partially destroyed. Mary Jane! MJ, are you okay? Where are you? I'm here, Peter. Venom came looking for you. I was so scared, but I was able to hide away from him. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I was so worried when I saw what happened to the base. Just a little bit more time, okay? We're gonna save him. I know you can do it. You can't give up on Eddie. We got to work repairing the base quickly. We were able to fix everything up in no time together. I was prepared to head toward Tony when Goldie stopped me. There is no way that we're going out with the Red Goblin on the loose. I'm no match for Carnage, let alone when he's attached. Listen, I'm just as afraid as you are. You need to be brave, especially to be a hero. I know you're not used to it, but who knows? Maybe you're not good at being the symbiote you are because they always expect you to be evil. Maybe it's time you be someone different and you be a hero. You know what, Peter? Let's give it a shot. Great. We headed off to meet with Tony. On days 66 to 68, as I was heading to Tony's base, my spider senses started to tingle. It was Venom and the Red Goblin. They were fighting each other. I landed. Guys, you gotta get out of here. Now is our chance. We can let them weaken each other and then take out the winner ourselves. No, we're not taking out either of them. I looked over and saw the Red Goblin was overpowering Venom. It looked like he was about to take him out. I leapt into action and used my web shooter to stun him. What are you doing? Peter, you fool! I turned and saw that Venom was running off now. As I turned back, I was hit with an explosion. Ah! You will pay for what you have done. I tried to fight back, but I wasn't hurting him nearly as much as he hurt me. I was starting to feel weaker and weaker. Be brave. I'm gonna get you out of here. I felt weak, but my suit was able to carry me away from the fight. On days 69 to 71, I was somehow able to make it to Tony's base. Oh, uh, Mr. Stark, I need, I need your, help. your help. What happened? You look terrible. I caught him up on the fight with Venom and how Goblin had been able to acquire the symbiote. Tony finished patching me up and then said, There is still hope we can fix this. You'll just need to capture it from the Goblin. I looked down and noticed that my suit had upgraded? Mr. Stark, did you do this while you healed me? Actually, I did didn't upgrade you. Let me take a closer look. He said it seemed as though Goldie had fused even more in-depthly to the suit while he was taking me here. You make me feel less scared. I had to save you. Wow. You know, you're acting like a real hero. I thanked him for the assist, and we swung back to base to locate the goblin. On day 72 to 74, I returned back to base and caught MJ up with everything that was going on. You did the right thing saving Eddie. I'm so proud of you. I know, but if he was truly with me, he might have help me defeat the goblin. Eddie is not himself right now, Peter. You have to remember that. I think... What was that? It was the green goblin again, and he was at the base, destroying it. Ah, uh, come on, I just rebuilt that, Norman. You stopped me from killing Venom, so I'm here for your girlfriend now. MJ, watch out! The goblin tried to hit her with an explosive, but I was able to pull her away and avoid the attack. I focused my attention on him and used everything I had. I was clearly starting to really hurt him. How can this be? I have the most powerful symbiote! I kept fighting with him until he threw a sleeping grenade at me. I started to feel woozy. MJ, you have to <laughs> run! <laughs> On days 75 to 77, I woke up and looked around at all the destruction. Man, he has MJ. No! I have to go. I have to find him right now. I swung off toward his facility. MJ! I rushed inside, and I saw that she was suspended in a cage above a pit of lava. MJ, don't worry. I'm... Peter, watch out! The goblin hit me with her grenade, and it sent me flying. Ugh. Come on, kid. We gotta take him down now. I know. I started to fight him and knocked him toward the lava. I can tell the symbiote didn't like it. What are you doing? I command you. I knocked him towards it again, and the symbiote was starting to come loose. Why aren't you listening to me? Carnage jumped off of him, turning Norman back to the regular goblin. I grabbed Carnage in the metal jar, but Norman continued to fight with me. It's over, Norman. You have to stop. Is that so? He threw something at MJ, causing her to fall towards the lava. MJ! No! I jumped up and hit her away from the lava. No! He leapt up toward me, but fell into the lava himself. Norman, no! Please, take my hand! I'll help you! No, Peter. This is the end for me. Norman! He died in the lava. I can't believe this. He's gone. 
On day 78 to 80, we arrived at Tony's base. Tony! Tony, please! We need help! He saw us, and he rushed to aid her. He started to heal her of her injuries. Man, it was so unlike Norman. Doing all of this, I thought he would never do anything like that. Once Tony was done, I gave the symbiote to him. Hopefully, he can start analyzing it. This is great. We'll have that symbiote off you and Eddie in no time. Kid, are you, are you really gonna do that to me? We'll talk about it later, Goldie. Right now, I need to make sure MJ's okay. How are you feeling? Those injuries looked pretty bad. I'm feeling so much better, thanks to you guys. So it's almost over. You can get rid of Goldie and- Kid, seriously, we need to talk about this. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of Goldie yet. You know, despite all of his flaws, he's not that bad of a guy. She told me that she would support my decision either way. I thanked her for her help, and I thanked her for supporting me. You really are great, MJ. You know, you guys seem really good together. Uh, Mr. Stark, how long have you been standing there? I was waiting for Tony to finish whatever he was creating to help Eddie when my spidey senses started tingling. I told MJ and Tony to stay here. I knew where Venom was headed, and I was gonna cut him off. Wait, kid. I didn't listen, though, and I swung off towards Venom. I web blasted him to the ground to stop him. You plan to get in our way again, Spider-Man? This ends now, Eddie. We started our battle and went back and forth, dealing damage to each other. I punched Venom, and he fell to the ground, weakened. Now's your chance, Spider-Man. Finish him. Finish him now. I walked towards Venom, about to deal the final blow. But suddenly, I remembered what Uncle Ben always said to me. With great power must also come great responsibility. Ugh, what came over me right now? I was about to actually kill him. No, come on, Goldie. I told you, times like these, we have to be a hero. What are you doing? He's right there. Finish him. No, it's not. I want my friend back. You can't let him get away. Goldie tried to pull me closer towards Venom and Eddie, but I continue to resist him. Man, it's good to know, though, that I can beat him in a fight now. Now all that's left is to save him. On days 86 to 90, we watched Venom escape from us. Why would you do that, Spider-Man? Let's just talk for a moment, okay? I swung away and landed somewhere. Listen, my Uncle Ben would always tell me that with great power, there must also come great responsibility. What the heck does that even mean? It means that even though we have this power, we can't just take advantage of it and use it selfishly. If we do that, it doesn't make us any better than people like Venom. Eddie is my responsibility, but that doesn't mean that we need to end him. Eddie doesn't deserve any of what has happened to him. I still believe I'll be able to save him. If not, then what's the point? Goldie understood, but I can feel that something was bothering him. What's wrong? Once we stop Venom, what's stopping you from getting rid of me? In time, Goldie. We need to get back to Tony. Now. On days 91 to 94, we made it back to Tony's lab. He gave us a device that should remove the Venom symbiote from Eddie. You can even get this symbiote off you too if you want. Do you know what? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep him. He may be a pain sometimes, okay, all the time, but I wouldn't be where I am today without him. I mean, he did save my life after all. Spider-Man, I... All right, that's fine. It's a crazy idea to live with an alien attached to you. I don't know. I think we could work together as a team, and I want to teach him that responsibility always comes first. Okay, whatever. It's your choice after all. We thank Tony for everything and swung out of the lab. Hey. Spider-Man? Yeah. What's up? Thanks. Of course. We're partners after all, right? As we swung back to base, most of New York was covered in Venom's golden symbiote. This is getting really bad. Oh no. I hope MJ's okay. I made it back to base and looked around for MJ. MJ! MJ! Are you okay? I'm here, Peter. I'm glad. Things are getting crazy out here. MJ told me that she knows and that almost the whole world is covered in the Venom symbiote. I told MJ that I wasn't sure if I could beat him. Spider-Man, you are one of the most bravest, kindest, and smartest person that I know. If anyone can save the day, it's you. Thank you. I really needed to hear that. I started to sense pain. Eddie, are you here? Show yourself. I looked around the base, searching for him. He's not actually here. He's contacting us through me. It's a symbiote thing. Spider-Man, it's time to finish what we started once and for all. Where are you? You know. I hated to say it, but I did. Well, I'm off to go save the world. Go get him, tiger. On day 100, I arrived in the center of New York City, and it was completely in ruins. There was so much destruction around that I can hardly recognize that this was Times Square. Eddie, what have you done? All right, Goldie, are you ready for this? With you by my side, absolutely. Me too, partner. We arrived at Venom's location. <laughs> Finally, you're here. Once we get rid of you, this world will belong to us, to them.
Venom. Not if we had anything to say about it. Our final fight began. Venom tried to eat me, but I dodged his attacks and shot him with my web blasts. Eddie, come on. If you're in there, please fight back. Fight back against Venom. I punched Venom into the fire and severely wounded him. I think it's working. Eddie's fighting back. Now's your chance, Spider-Man. Use the device. I activated the device, and the Venom symbiote separated itself from Eddie. Oh my gosh, you're no longer going to be hurting anyone. I destroyed the symbiote, and all the golden goop began to vanish. Peter, you actually saved me. I, I don't know what to say. Listen, you don't have to say anything. After we kind of fix the city up, it's going to be good to have you back, old friend.